links in the description if you do like this topic if you like this video then do consider liking subscribing commenting and sharing um, perhaps have a look at some of the other videos that i have posted recently and with your encouragement encouragement i'll continue to post more um bit of a trigger warning this is a pretty gruesome topic um it is about an Indian a beheading in India. And I'm going to read through pretty much the full article. Uh, but again, there is a link in the description. Should you prefer to go that through that in your own good time. An Indian brother decapitates his pregnant sister, 19 years of age, then poses for a selfie with her head along with his mother. Uh, so the mother also posed for a selfie holding uh, her daughter's head um, i did say it was pretty gruesome a teenager has been arrested for allegedly decapitating his pregnant older sister and posing for a selfie with her severed head in a so-called honor killing after she eloped and married her college sweetheart in india Sanjay Moat, 17 years of age, allegedly beheaded his sister, Kirti Thor, 19 years of age, in the kitchen of her home in the western state of Maharashtra while she was making tea for him and their mother, Shoba Moat. Sanjay and Shoba then allegedly posed for selfies with Kirti's severed head and showed it to their neighbours. Here's a picture of uh, the sister, uh, Kirti Thor, 19 years of age. Uh, the victim that was beheaded whilst she was making tea dinner for her brother, uh, who is the one that allegedly beheaded her, as well as her mother, who seemingly was in support of the beheading, um, allegedly. The article continues, Kirti, who was two months pregnant, had eloped in June and married her boyfriend, Avanash Thor, who she had met in college secretly after her family disapproved because her lover was poorer than their family. Her mother and brother asked to visit her and the pair arrived at Kirti's home on Sunday when the teenager attacked his sister from behind. Shoba, the mother, 39 years of age, held her daughter's legs while Sanjay beheaded his sister using a sickle, a curved blade used in agriculture for harvesting crops, before they both posed for selfie, selfies with her head and showed neighbours. The teenager and mother surrendered at the Vergoin, Vergoin police station and are now under arrest. Superintendent of Police told the Times of India uh, newspaper that the boy seems to have taken inspiration from, from a Maharati movie. He beheaded his sister in the kitchen while she was preparing tea for him and his mother. After that, they, they both took a selfie with the head. Here's the mother, the 39-year-old, accused of holding down her daughter's legs whilst her son beheads her daughter. The article continues. Um, the mobile phone has been seized as part of the investigation, but, the, uh, but uh, Sanjay and his mother have allegedly deleted the image. Uh, here's a quote. We will send the cell phone for a forensic analysis to recover the picture. It is a crucial piece of evidence. Curtis' hub husband, Avanash, was at home when she was killed. The 17-year-old allegedly tried to attack his brother-in-law, but he managed to escape. Uh, I mean, that, I find that disappointing. Perhaps I should uh, not say anything, but... Um, seemingly, the husband was present. He escaped. He ran away. Uh, which which led, well, arguably led to uh, his new wife to be murdered. 
Okay, so the article continues. Uh, Kalash Prajapati, a police officer in the area where the murder took place, uh, told the TV station her husband, who was ill, was lying in the house. He woke up hearing the sound of falling utensils and rushed to the kitchen. The woman's brother tried to kill him too, but he escaped. Later, the brother, brother came out of the house with her head in his hand. He then came to the police station and surrendered. Uh, the article is pretty much complete. It says that hundreds of women are killed every year in India in so-called honor killings because they have married against their family's wishes. And it just tells us a little bit more about another example, uh, which you can read through in your own good time. What can you say? I'm kind of uh, lost for words. Absolutely horrendous prayers to the young lady concerned, Curti Thor, beheaded so needlessly by her brother. And, um, you know, her mother supports the, the murder. I mean, look, th this is there's still a court case going ahead. I mean, from my mind as a layman, uh, the article kind of spells things out. It seems that they they uh, both surrendered themselves to the police. They seemingly admit guilt. How can they not be guilty? I don't know, but I don't I don't know. Um, but I do hope that hell has reserved a place for uh, the mother Shoba and uh, the son. Um, the 17 year old boy that beheaded his sister why well because she had fallen in love with someone poorer or someone you know outside of the cast or whatever the ins and outs are but someone that uh, the family disapproved of so these people Shoba and the brother decided to murder their daughter to murder their sister it's absolutely absolute insanity and i'm glad that um probably shouldn't finish off that sentence